ChatGPT has officially taken over the internet. It's been trending everywhere this past week and people cannot get enough of this mind-blowing AI. In my last video, I explained what ChatGPT is, but in today's video, I'll be explaining what is the difference between ChatGPT and GPT-3. So first off, it's important to note that both ChatGPT and GPT-3 are built from the same company, OpenAI. OpenAI is a research institute focused on developing artificial intelligence in a responsible and safe way, and has made several significant contributions to the field of AI, including the development of advanced machine learning algorithms and the creation of large-scale language models like GPT-3 and most recently, ChatGPT. So what is the difference between ChatGPT and GPT-3? GPT-3 is a large-scale language model that uses deep learning to generate text that is similar to human writing. It can be fine-tuned for a variety of language tasks such as language translation, text summarization, and generating high-quality, short- and long-form copy. Popular AI copywriters like Jasper utilize GPT-3 technology in order to generate high-quality copy and GPT-3 is one of the most powerful AI language models in the world. Some other use cases for GPT-3 are to be able to translate sentences from one language to another, summarize text, generating new text based on a given prompt, answering questions, generating creative writing such as poetry or fiction, and generating high quality long or short form copy, which can be in the form of blog posts, ad copy, product description, sales copy, emails, and any other sort of copywriting content you can imagine. If you've ever used GPT-3, then you know that it's a very powerful language model, but it is limited in its functionality and use cases. And that's where ChatGPT comes in. So ChatGPT is a variant of the GPT-3 language model. So ChatGPT is built from the GPT-3 language model. So you have all the functionality and use cases included in the GPT-3 model, but you also have some new and unique and powerful use cases in ChatGPT. And that's what makes it really intriguing. In addition to the use cases included in GPT-3, you're also able to generate responses in a chat box, summarize text or translate sentences, generate text that is appropriate for conversation. You can use ChatGPT in chat boxes, virtual assistants, and other applications where natural sounding language is important. You can use ChatGPT to explain complex subjects or concepts. You can also ask ChatGPT to write code for a specific widget or page for a website, and it'll write that code for you, and you can use that to build a website or a page. Alternatively, you can paste a piece of code within ChatGPT and it'll identify any errors within that code and um, actually fix that piece of code for you. And those are only some of the use cases for ChatGPT. It seems as though every single day people are finding new and exciting use cases for this AI. So I highly recommend that you go out and you try ChatGPT for yourself. Right now, it's completely free. I'll leave a link in the description below this video, which you can follow and try ChatGPT for completely free. So to summarize, ChatGPT and GPT-3 were both built by OpenAI. ChatGPT is a spin-off or variant of GPT-3. It has all of the language AI models included in ChatGPT, but you also have some really unique features that are not included in GPT-3. So ChatGPT has a much more array of use cases when compared to GPT-3. And ChatGPT was built to be more of a conversational AI model, which allows you to interact one-to-one -one with the AI. So you can ask the AI specific questions it will remember those questions and you can continue having a conversation with the AI which allows you to get the most relevant answers from your inputs. Other chat GPT use cases include being able to write unique code, also being able to fix code and identify errors within code, being able to explain complex subject matters, summarizing and translating text, and generating high quality short and long form copy. As always, I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that you now know the differences between both ChatGPT and GPT-3. If you got some value from this video, don't forget to give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, stay well.